Thank you very much. Uh, David Bonson uh, is a well-known investment strategist here, and I, he's tired of this attack line against uh, corporations and businesses in general. I, I would imagine, David, this latest line, all right, just go after the oil companies, tax the hell out of them because they're making too much money. What do you make of it? Well, let's talk about the year 2020, okay? Not 2022, when Exxon lost $22 billion dollars. So what were we talking about then? Was President Biden campaigning on a message of trying to help big oil that had lost so much money? Uh, Exxon this year is going to make good profits. They're going to make less than half of Google. They're going to make less than a third of Apple. So if that's a windfall. What's he wanting to do to big tech? But the fact of the matter is Exxon's going to spend $25 billion this year on capital expenditures. And they're going to do the same for the next five years each to grow jobs, to ramp up production. This entire line of attack from the White House is economically and ideologically irrational. You know, when you think about it, too, the oil companies, they're big. They're big companies and all that. But as a percentage of revenue and all that, they're kind of in the middling of major uh, corporate sectors as far as the money they make off of all of that. Leaving that aside, there does seem to be a concerted effort here to blame them for gunning a bad situation, leveraging off of that and sticking it to the American people, much as the administration recently had, had done when it looked at, uh, you know, uh, food uh, providers and those uh, you know, processors, poultry and others who pass along bigger than normal justified increases. So to sort of put in Americans' minds that if this isn't supply and demand, this is greedy fat cats milking the system and hurting you. How is that registering? It's because it's a cultural epidemic of blame casting. It's a crisis of responsibility. We're going to blame Wall Street for everything that goes wrong financially. We're going to blame oil for the prices, the oil industry. The, the president campaigned on this idea of attacking the industry. Now this has led to higher prices, and all of a sudden he wants to blame when really he's getting the outcome he said he wanted. But the worst part, Neil, is he's going to get on a plane and go ask Saudi Arabia to do what he won't do in Texas and Oklahoma, which is approve more permits, appro approve more drilling, ramp up production. We have the capacity to bring prices down. We have the ability to provide our allies oil and gas in Europe, exporting natural gas and things like that. This is a decision that is being made on purpose by the White House. It is wild stuff and wild times, David. Thank you very much. I'm David Benson following all of that. And David was just mentioning Saudi Arabia. The president will be heading off there. Uh, some say hat in hand to ask the Saudis to produce more oil uh, that we are not producing here. But it gets even a little bit murkier than that. A, there's no guarantee the Saudis will. And lo and behold, today, a Saudi oil minister was in Russia. What's up with that after this?